Today I'm going to show you how to install the Wiser Ultra Bright combination driving and turn signal inserts. On this is an R1200 GSA 2016. And we'll go through all the install here. So here's a selection of tools that you will need to do pretty much the entire install. Um, you'll need a T30 uh, Torx wrench or screwdriver like this, a T25 uh, screwdriver to get open the lenses and get the battery terminals off. This 10 millimeter wrench also helps with uh, removing battery terminals. Uh, you know, some basic electrical tools, some cutting pliers, um, a, a blade to cut the insulation on the wires, and then needle nose pliers to help you pull that wire through the tight cavities of the bike. Also, it's nice to have electrical tape to then be to extra waterproof any of the connections after you finished your install. And then I've found a neat trick to pull the wires through the body panels of the bike. I use, this is a giant zip tie that I've cut the end off of, and this helps me fish through the tight portions of the bike and then hook the wires that I want to pull through with tape on this end, and then I can pull it through nice and run it along the original wire paths on the bike to keep things nice and tidy. So this is what comes in the wire harness bag. You have the compact relay, you have pre-labeled and terminated wiring for all the different connections. You can see they have nice labels on each end that indicate where they go and how they're supposed to be wired. You have the two keys that hold the LED boards into the original housing. And you have a, a few zip ties to make the whole thing go together nice and uh, organized once it's installed on the bike. You have your fuse here for the included fuse that goes to the battery. And then your PosiTap connector here that allows you to tap into the, the bike's electrical system without cutting up the harness. And then you have your Posi Twist connector here that allows you to join the wires in a fashion that's nice and, and good contact, but you can, it's undoable. So if you ever have to get into the electrical system of the bike, you're not cutting wires again. So first step is to remove the screw in the blinker housing with a small Phillips screwdriver and then remove the lens and then also pull out the reflector and bulb assembly taking care to unplug these wires carefully from the original bulb assembly. The brown wire is your ground wire and the blue is your turn signal positive. On step two, we show how to insert the key here that actually holds this housing to stay onto the bike without the original reflector assembly. You can see one side's printed and one side isn't. And you want to put the printed side with the arrow pointing in towards the, the bike and in towards the center of the motorcycle, as shown. And just gets inserted all the way. So we're on step three, and you take the wire that has labeled on one end, wiser, and on the other end, it says three and one. This is what this is. You're going to run this through the housing here into the bike, and this is going to go towards the rest of the wiring harness. So you can see you can insert it here where the wires were coming out of the original wires, and it slides nice and easily all the way into the center of the motorcycle. You can find access to this wire just directly behind where this housing connects to the bike. The other end comes out back here and you just pull it in nice and tight, leaving a lot similar amount of uh, slack on the end as the other terminals have. So once you've completed step three, step four is to repeat those first three steps on the other blinker on the other side. So on step five here, it explains to bring the wires around the steering components of the motorcycle from the left blinker over to the right blinker here. So I have both wires, making sure to keep them clear of any of the steering components. And then what I've also done here with the big long zip tie that I explained earlier is I've actually pushed it underneath the fuel tank and out the side here. And I'll connect these two wires to the, uh, the zip tie and pull it through. That's the way I've found to do it, but there are many other ways to, do the, to achieve the same task. We're just trying to get the wires to, towards the battery here uh, without running them you know, on the top of the bike in a visible area. 
So in step five, we need to connect the three wires labeled three and one together with this blue posi tap connector. The way this connector works is you unscrew the collar off and then you insert the three wires through the collar. And I'll show you that here. So strip the wire ends to about a three-eighths of an inch length. Twist the three together at an even length. And then insert them through the threaded collar. And what I like to do is actually fray these out a little bit once they're through the collar and then insert the cap. And once it's tight, test each of the three wires and make sure they're secure in there. And the final step to making these this very secure is do I take one of these small zip ties and zip tie all three of these wires together so that if one gets pulled on, it won't pull out of the, the housing and then just cut off the excess of the zip tie and wrap in some electrical tape to make sure that there's no water allowed to get into the system. And now we're ready to pull the other end of this connector that we just added in that says Relay 87. We just tape that onto this, the way I like to do it, onto the zip tie so it's nice and secure. And now we're ready to pull the wiring through the center of the bike. So now this wire has pulled out from underneath the tank and I have this here right near the battery. The battery is housed behind this panel on this 1200 GS Adventure. With a T25 Torx, you can open up the body panel where the battery resides. So now that we've brought the wires from the front of the bike to where we're going to have the relay, you can refer to your wiring diagram here to see which terminal each, um, each of the labeled connectors are supposed to go to. So this is labeled 87 on relay, and 87 on this is this terminal here. So just go ahead and connect that up. So that completes steps five and six. So now we need to connect up the terminal, uh, the positive and negative connections to the battery. On this bike, there's a few other accessories installed, but you can still see where we can need to connect to. Uh, this big red connector here is the remote positive terminal. And then this here is the black negative terminal. So you can use a uh, normal size screwdriver to loosen this up. Sometimes they're really tight. These bolts are typically a 10 millimeter nut, so you can just use a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen it up and disconnect the negative terminal and connect our terminals in. So now we've connected the positive to the battery, to keeping in mind to leave the fuse out and the negative to the negative terminal on the battery. And we'll connect these to the diagram, or I mean to the relay using your wiring diagram. The positive goes to terminal 30, and the negative from the battery goes to terminal 85. Step nine is to connect the wire that's labeled relay 86 from the relay to a switched 12 volt positive power. Two common places to find this are on the parking light bulb on the front of the bike, the positive wire going to that, or to the tail light bulb that is switched with the key. I just try to find a, a wire on the bike that goes off immediately when the key is turned off and on immediately when the key is on. So now we're gonna take the Relay 86 wire and run it towards the tail of the bike. On this motorcycle, we're gonna use the tail light wire as the trigger for the Wiser Driving Light Relay. 
So now we have it pulled all the way through to the tail of the bike. So now that we have the wire pulled, the 80, 86 relay wire pulled to the rear of the bike, what you need to do is figure out which wire is your tail light positive. And the best way to find that is by finding the connection to the actual tail light. Usually there's two or three wires. Find which one's ground and then which one's positive and which one's brake. And you want to connect this to the positive when the key is on. You don't want to connect it to the brake wire. On this very specific motorcycle, uh, 2015, R1200 GSA, I know where to find that wire closer towards the middle of the bike, not all the way by the tail light bulb. So now that we've located the wire that we want to connect to, in this situation it's a gray with red stripe, you'll use the supplied posi tap connector. It has a gray end which you unscrew and you can see there is a channel that you would slide over the original wire and then the pointy probe is what pierces the insulation on the original wire and gives us the electricity. So slide that over here, tighten on the pointed portion until it's all the way tight and then now you have your connection into the factory tail light wire and the other side unscrew and run your relay 86 wire through the collar and then into the posi tap connector. And now we have our switched 12 volt positive connection from the bike. And the final step is to put the fuse into the fuse holder and then you can check your work. So now we're gonna ins insert the LED board, but taking care before touching the board, make sure you touch a metal portion of the motorcycle to relieve any static shock that may have built up in your body. So grab the board and you can see the terminals here. There's positive T for turn and E for earth. The positive is that new white terminal we just added. The T is the turn signal positive wire and the E is the ground or earth. And you'll just want to connect these up here, being careful to insert them fully on. Now that we have them connected, make sure our key, housing key is in place and slide the signal into the housing, like so. And now we can put on the lens cover. And you'll repeat this for the other side of the bike and then we can test the function of the lights. Now that we finished the installation, we'll test the function of the lights. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to start the engine to test the function of the bike. Test your left blinker, looks good. Test your right. And then also test your hazards if your bike has that function.